This is NATV Network. NATV Podcast. Number one, we have to learn to stop people pleasing if we are in the cycle of people pleasing all the time. And there's plenty of resources out there, but you know, myself as a coach, I'm here to help you do that. Um, and like I mentioned in one of our previous calls, you know, it takes time to start focusing back on yourself. Um, educating yourself on this stuff. Once you know this stuff, you become pretty powerful and you're able to identify what is happening in front of you. So staying mindful in these situations, keeping your eyes open, even around the people you think you can trust. So um, we were mentioning before, like even around family members, they could have um, flying monkeys coming around, right? Or say you start a new job and you've got a friend who you're really friendly with um, and you think everything's great and then something happens every time you hang out with them, um, like gossip starts getting spread around or something and you're not sure why it keeps happening but you're not sure who it is. Um, So just be wary of who you're telling things to and what you're telling to these people and then stay wary of like who is spreading the information and who is using it to manipulate you. Because it might not be who you think it is. You might, you know, a narcissist and an abuser can easily point out other people around you as being the problem when they could indeed be the problem themselves. Mm. So use your own intuition to figure out who the real problem is when it comes to these problem situations. Don't trust who people are saying are the problems. Um Look after yourself and don't underestimate self-care. And I like to say major self-care, but what we really mean is doing major minor self-care, if that makes sense. So I want you to do it all the time, but do it in little bursts. So do little things for yourself that are going to keep you going. Don't get yourself to the point of exhaustion. Give yourself that little extra bit of rest. Stop and eat. Stop and, um, you know, do your morning routines and things like that. Stop and write down your goals. Um, Make sure that you're actually looking after yourself in these ways because these are ways to help you to get out of that mentality of someone else controlling you. Hold your boundaries strong, especially with people who don't like them. And if all else fails, the best decision in the end is to move away and distance yourself from people who are... um, manipulating you who you might you think that might be manipulating you and even though sometimes these people are completely enmeshed in your life right say for example it's your parent who's the narcissist and you work with your parent and you live with your parent and all of your friends from work are friends with your parent too so you've got this whole enmeshed environment with this person you're going to have to slowly start to make distance and be wary of the new connections you make until you have this sense of your own self-identity and your own life. And I know that it's hard that you feel like you've built a life around this person. I know that it's hard that you feel like you've built a life around this whole situation and identity that you've created with this person in your life. And you feel like if you break away from them, you're going to lose a part of yourself in a way. But what you do end up gaining is a lot more of who you really are, a lot of strength, dealing with the adversity that comes with going away from that person as well. Um, But know that there's help. So get help. Reach out to a coach like myself or a therapist. Um, Reach out to um, communities online and talk to other people about what is happening because the isolation is what's going to get you in the end. If you're not listening to the red flags, if you're not listening to the uh, your intuition, if you're not going with what feels right, if you're not making your own decisions, what gets you in the end is the isolation because you feel like you have no one there and you're stuck in this mentality that you cannot change. So get help, get support, surround yourself with people. And if you can't surround yourself with people right now, come to me because that's part of the coaching process that I do which is later on down the line, we look at your environment and we start to shift that to be in alignment with the life that you want because environment is a huge, huge player in the life that you have. 
right now. So I think that's all I can give you right now. I think that was a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here. We appreciate you being a part of our NATV community.